back to my channel. I'm Neha Parashi, working in a healthcare company and based in Germany. In last video, we saw the GMP requirements for US and EU. In this video, we will be discussing the differences between the dossier requirement for combination products in US and EU. So let's start with the US first. In US, because we have only one lead center who is involved in the review process for combination products, so that's why the FDA requires a combination product to have a single marketing application that include all the relevant information such as uh, the information on drug, device or biological products, preclinical and clinical data and CMC data. So basically, single ECTD dossier needs to be submitted including all device component information in relevant CTD sections. Information about device part need to be included in the relevant CTD section. For example, development information in the development CTD section that is P2, stability section, stability information into stability section that is in P8 and so on. As you can see, I have also provided the guideline from FDA which mentions which information should be included in which part of dossier. So this makes your job easier. Now let's move to EU. Because in EU there are two assessments which are performed. For your device part, you need to first submit the dossier to notify body. This dossier is called technical documentation. And once we have opinion, we need to then include this opinion report in our CTD dossier, which we then submit it to health authorities as a marketing authorization application. I mentioned about a specific example in previous videos that for combination product where the main mode of action is due to drug and device part is used to deliver or administer the drug. In that case, you need to take the opinion for notify body if you don't have a CE mark in place already, right? And in such cases, you need to show compliance to GSPR. The GSPR is complied in form of a technical documentation along with other relevant information about your device part and depending on the risk level of your device part, the level of information in this technical documentation will also increase. We will discuss this in detail in today's video that how this GSPR that is general safety and performance requirement checklist looks like. In the first part, we need to give everything related to the risk of your device as you can see here. In second part, you need to give information regarding the design and manufacturing, for example, extractable and leachable information, integrity of your device, sterility information and so on. And in chapter 3, this list all the requirements of the labeling related. So we need to show that we meet all these relevant requirements which are applicable for our product. The preferred format is that we make the checklist and provide the rational and related data along with this checklist. We also need to make the detailed risk assessment as part of this technical documentation preparation. We then submit all this information as part of the technical documentation to notify body, which they will assess and evaluate to provide their opinion. So once we get notify body opinion, we include this information in module 3 of the dossier section that is 3.2.R. There is a specific guidance which has been provided by EMA which main information should go in which part of the dossier. So you can check out that guideline and I have given the details here for your reference. Like US, again the information of device part needs to be included in relevant CTD sections. For example, development in the development section, stability into the stability section that is P8 section and so on. So this structure looks somehow similar. These differences in requirement affects the development and approval of combination products in US and EU. Because in US, it's just one lead center and one application, so everything is assessed all together. Why in EU, the technical documentation preparation or the preparation of GSPR compliance checklist is an additional step which takes time, right? So we need to consider all this while we are making our regulatory strategy. And it can sometimes become bottleneck for us for our MA submission, right? So you need to be well prepared for this additional step so that it doesn't become a bottleneck in your submissions in the EU MA submission, okay? So this was the difference in the dossier requirements for combination products in US and EU. Thank you for watching this entire series. We'll discuss a new topic in the next upcoming videos. Till then, let's do